I'm gonna take you guys into our lounge now. This is one of the most dramatic rooms in the whole house for many reasons. I definitely played with a lot of different things in here because I felt like this was the perfect spot to do it. So let's first talk about the ceilings. This is something that a lot of you guys have already kind of seen the evolution of and uh, for those that have been following along know that this has been a labor of love. I wanted this space to have like an architectural moment. So with the ceiling, I thought it was a great opportunity to create this barrel look. Then I was originally gonna have it be taupe, like a, a lime wash taupe. And then at the last second, I was like, what if we went dramatic and dark in here? So we did, and we did this color that just brings so much, you know, kind of life and drama to the space. The other thing is, this is so fun. This is something else that some of you guys have known about. We have been building out this, this uh, alcove and I wanted something that would match the barrel ceiling and something that would really create kind of a cozy space. In this whole space, I was very inspired by, you know, like an English library, like wanted something that felt very cozy and just had a real calm vibe in it as well, but in some fun ways. So in here, I created this little, you know, nestled sofa that fits perfectly into it and the wallpaper. Originally, this was just gonna be art. And then as everything came together, I was like, I think we just need another little punch. It is the right amount of drama, matches really nicely with the sofa. And this is the kind of thing that you can do in your own home. Sometimes it doesn't need to be a whole wall or a whole room that you're filling with wallpaper, but just like a little area that adds a lot of punch. We did these coffee tables that are nestled and paired that with a channel back sofa. And then I also wanted to do an area that we could have some extra storage, hide the games, hide all the kids things, but also be able to make a really pretty moment. So I did these kind of off kiltered, if you will, uh, open shelving. So instead of it just being like plain straight across, I played with different size variances. Some are long, some are short, some are small, some are larger. And I love that this gives a lot of variation and draws your eye around the space. Then we come over here and this is Wynn's favorite part. So Wynn, he's in the, he's in the background. Come you didn't, on in. You didn't think I was gonna let you show off the guitar cabinet. <laughs> I've been talking about it. Forever. Forever. Yes, but who designed this? Lindy designed this designed because it? she doesn't like seeing guitar things everywhere. I like she I have like to. guitars, but I felt like it was just an, a good opportunity to kind of like hide them away, but in a cool way. He wanted them on the walls, and I was like, that's not gonna fit my vibe. So we made this. So all oh oh, sing me a love song. Oh boy. So oh, that sounds like do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> so created these kind of you know little nooks for the guitars. We even have these leather straps that they hang on for some added detail. I also, you know, more than the um, guitars out, it's really the amp. Like it's just so massive. So it's bulky. fit and spooky. So we fit the amp in here and then all the little drawers for mics and things. Um, yeah, fun fact, when like loves to play guitar, he's quite good at it. When we met, when we met, <laughs> oh my gosh, can I tell the story? Sure. Oh my gosh, when we met, um, he was a singer songwriter. We met in college and I was like, ooh, singer songwriter. And so we started hanging out and I was like, um, you know, hey, can I have your CD? And he's like, for eight bucks. And I'm like, Man's are you- has gotta make a living. <laughs> I was like, are broke. You me? I was broke. Oh yeah, well, yeah. It was like in and out dates for like a long time. Um, but anyway, so it's really fun because it's something that has kind of been evolved in our life for a while. And then also the pedal board at the bottom, it actually yeah. pulls out and goes down. We're giving some talking time to this because you know, it's your glory moment. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's my corner sure. of the house. It's the it's one corner <laughs> that I let win be involved in the design. So you're welcome. Um, last couple of things too is, you know, we want to create a sense for the TV. With a TV being, you know, kind of a large piece in the room that can sometimes look like a black box, wanted to add a console underneath it and kind of give it some life there. And also one thing too you wanna do when you're thinking about a TV in the space is that you really wanna make sure that your console is, is wider than the TV. The wall itself is so expansive that I also felt that we needed to add a little bit of lighting. So I went with this little cluster of three, you know, we can tell we're, we're really working with the clusters here and the tiered approach. And it's white oak, birch, and walnut. So I mixed a lot of different, um, you know, woods to it. And then I also uh, added different sizes and shapes. So I think it gives a lot of character to that wall. And one of my favorite things about this room, it opens up to the backyard, 
as well as the front yard. So we can open this right up and then we can have our little outdoor dining and the kids can kind of run in and out. And so it's really kind of also connecting that indoor outdoor feel. So this is definitely a favorite room for our family. We love it.